Hey everybody, welcome to MTG Casual Commander. Welcome to MTG Casual Commander, the most immersive Magic the Gathering game on the planet. Let the best player win. Say hello to our co-hosts, KJ Sparkles and the one-eyed monster, Carlos. Hey everybody, welcome to MTG Casual Commander. I'm KJ and we're here with Carlos. And it looks like we have a really great game on hand today. Who's playing? That's right. We got Tyler, TJ, and Dash facing off in a Tamir tribal battle. Now, I bet you all thought that we were going to be from a tribe. We were part of Alex's shitty tribal yeah. pirate deck, and we didn't quite make the cut. Welcome to MTG Casual Commander. We got a great show for you tonight. Natatog, would you like to introduce our players for tonight, please? His name is James Dashner, but we call him Dash da 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 Dash da 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 Dash. <laughs> hey all, this is uh, Dash or MTG Casual Commander. We're here for gonna be seeing if I can last longer than the last preview game that I was in. I'm hoping I do a little bit better than that game. I did miss some plays that game that was told to me in comments, but I'm planning on doing a lot better this time. I'm going tribal. I'm going with elves, black and green deck, with abomination of Llanowar as my commander. Uh, it is a vigilance menace, power and toughness equal to the number of elves I control and elf cards in my graveyard. I am hoping they focus on each other for a while and let me build up my little tiny elf army. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have a lot of flying. I got ways to get rid of flying in the deck, and I got a couple of elves with reach, but I'm hoping, like I said, hopefully they focus on each other. They both got flyers. And worried about, you know, blue counter spells, red direct damage, because elves are kind of squishy, like goblins. <laughs> so what I like about the game the most is, yeah, the, <clears throat> the variety of decks you can make and the variety of spells the, I started out playing green when I originally started, and yeah, the artwork is what drew me into the game back in Revised. So that was 94? Yeah, 93, 94? Probably 94, I think 93 is when the game started. But yeah, I like the fact that you can build decks any way you want. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they're really powerful and everybody hates it. <laughs> All right, you've heard me talk enough. Let's go watch us play this game. Next up, the gentle giant. But he's badass when it comes to cards. Say hello to Tyler. Hello, everybody. Tyler, on the blue team, back for MTG Casual Commander, here to play a game. Uh, today I'm playing my Elegath and Siani deck. Um, it's a mono blue partner deck, Flying Tribal. And I'm looking to draw a bunch of cards, uh, make some really big creatures, and fly over everyone and see if I can't get a couple kills today. Going into this matchup against a Maelstrom Wanderer with that's Dragon Tribal, that kind of neutralizes the advantage I have with having flyers in my deck. But I also believe that my deck is going to be able to defend itself against the dragons from taking too much damage with my flyers. Dashner's Abomination of Llanowar deck, the Elves. Um, if we can keep him from getting too out of hand with the number of Elves he has on the field, I think that, um, I don't think I'd have to worry about him as much because he does not have Flyers and if I get my Flyers out there, I can probably hit him at will. Um, I'm looking at kind of keeping the, the game from getting out of hand with counter spells, um, some creature removal, and I'm hoping that I can draw enough cards to always have an answer. The one thing about Magic that I like the most is the cards themselves. It is the artwork on the cards, it is the, um, the abilities that they print on the cards, the different variety of what each card does. Um, I also really enjoy sitting down and playing with friends getting away from the hustle and bustle of everyday life and sitting down for a few hours and relaxing and playing a game I enjoy. Let's play Magic. 
He's the table talking, trash talking mayor of MTG Casual Commander. Say hello to TJ. Hey, what's up? This is Tom. Uh, people call me TJ, and I'm on the red team, uh, looking to do some some flame damage and just burn burn the world here. So uh, tonight we're going to be doing some teamer tribal uh, dragon. Maelstrom Wanderer is my commander. Get some cascade trigger going. Get some, uh, hopefully, some big dragons for free and uh, fly over the top and, and melt them down. I'm expecting a lot of counter spells from Blue. Um, I've got a few in there myself. Um, but, uh, you know, I know he's got some flyers, so I think I got that covered with my dragons. Um, elf deck, speed is what I'm worried about there. If he can spit out a bunch of those 1 1s before I can. Uh, Get enough mana that's that's my concern with the elves so we'll see the thing about magic that's so and you know captivating to me is it's it's a very elaborate game it takes a lot of strategy you have to think while you're playing it um it, it's like chess on crack is what i always tell people when they ask me about it i mean you have to strategize so much and there's so many different card types card colors they're always expanding um you know it, it's it's for me, it's just a brain game, you know? It takes a lot of mental capacity. Um, on top of that, I just love to collect the artwork, the cards, um, everything about it. Um, I try to, you know, pick certain artists that I like and see what else they're doing in the world too and, you know, buy pieces of their art, but it's, everything about it to me is, is pretty awesome. Let's do this. What's up everybody, it's the bad guy back but not to play this time around i'm just here to do some judging make sure nobody misses their triggers i hope you guys enjoy this 10 year battle let's get into this game can't wait and here on mtg casual commander as you all know we always have a commander of the day and a word of the day now our commander of the day is rashmi and ragavan tell them all about this card nate tog of the game, Rashmi and Ragavan. Legendary Elf Monkey. Whenever you cast your first spell during each of your turns, just exile the top card of target opponent's library and create a treasure token. Then you may cast the exiled card without paying its mana cost. If it's a spell with mana value less than the number of artifacts you control, if you don't cast it this way, you may cast it this turn. Our word of the day is menace. Menacing menace. I like that. Pirates are menacing. Carlos, wanna take that one over? Get the card. word of the day is definitely menace. Ugh. You gotta go or something stupid. You're hanging out in my blind spot. <laughs> I, can, I can barely see you. So we're gonna get down to the table and take a look at this dice roll. Arr. <laughs> All right, everybody, grab your dice. We decide who goes first by rolling a 20. Oh. I got a 17. I got a 15. That is on Tyler. Low, low roll with a 12. That's not great. So it looks like Tyler goes first. All right, let's take a look at these guys' hands. It looks like Tyler's got a handful of answers. Dash has a murder, and it looks like some mana rampers. TJ Coralesa Scale Singer, and a War Storm Surge. That's a good opening hand. All right, Tyler, you won, so you lead us off. I'm going to draw for turn. Um, Island. And I will pass. I'm going to draw for turn. I'm going to play a command tower. I'm going to tap that and play a land of war elves. Oh, Davy Jones is going to be so pissed. Lanawar Elves. Summon Elves. Whenever the Lanawar Elves gather the fruits of their forest, they leave one plant of each type untouched, considering that nature's portion. Tap to add one green mana to your mana pool. You may go. Draw for turn. I'm gonna play a Frontier Bivouac, and it's tapped, and I will pass. In your end step, I'm gonna opt, scry one, and on top, and then 
then I will draw a card. Untap, draw a card. I forgot the hop bless you also draw. I'm going to play an island. I'm going to tap to play a thought vessel. Watch out. He's using thought vessel. Artifact, you have no maximum hand size. Tap and add. Infinite possibilities contained in a finite space. Good luck with that one. Now we'll say go. Tap. Getting the ramp set up here. Play there. Can't set you doing some stuff. And uh, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? You know what? Let's go with an elvish mystic. Oh, elves and druids. Life grows everywhere. My kin merely find those places where it grows strongest. Nissa Ravane. Elvish mystic. Creature. Elf druid. Tap. Add mana. Dash and they're ramping over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and then I'm going to have to say go. Alright, on tap. Draw. I'm going to hang on to that for now. We'll play forest. And I'm going to tap for blue, green. I'm gonna play Coralessa, the Scale Singer. Legendary creature, Dragon Bard. Uh, I may look at the top card of my library anytime. I may cast dragon spells from the top of my library. And it is a 1 4. Big, big butt. Um, yes, but it lets you play dragon spells. It really does. Easy. I'm gonna look at the top card and put that back. It's a good card. Good card. Luckily, it's early enough that he doesn't have the mana to play a dragon <laughs> spell. <laughs> Not yet. Last <laughs> turn. All so right. I'm gonna untap. I'm going to draw. Play an island for turn. I'm not wasting any time. I'm going to play Siani, Eye of the Storm, my commander. It's a flying 3 2, and whenever it attacks, I scry X, where X is the number of attacking features <coughs> with flying. Nice. And I will say go. Oh, I'm going to tap. I will draw my card. Unfortunately, I got to wait for the tap land. But. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four for Lethral Blade of the Elves. Two, three menace. When it deals combat damage to a player, create that many one, one green elf warrior creature tokens. Tap it, tap 10 untapped elves you control. Each opponent loses 10 life and you gain 10 life. It's a card. Elf ball's coming, guys. And that's all I can do right now, so you may go. Seems like a pretty good plan. Untap. Yep. Draw. You guys <laughs> saw what that was going to be. It's going back here. We're going to play Grove of the Burn Willows. Alright. So I can tap that for colorless or red or green, but each opponent gains a life if I do that. Um, and that's worth it. We're going to do, it. do, some, <laughs> we're gonna do <laughs> something here because I don't really like that lathril going on. So I'm going to tap. Three. Oh, One. I have nowhere near ten elves. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm gonna spit flame and deal four damage to target Lathril. Oh. Bye bye Lathril. Lathril is Didn't even gone. get to do nothing with her. And that's my turn. Uh, I'm gonna look at my card quick. Untap. I'm going to draw. What is it? So you just allowed to play dragon spells from the top of your library, right? Yep. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna play. So a you still have to pay full price for them. I'm playing yes. a land for yes. turn. I am then going to tap a blue in my thought vessel. I'm gonna play an Azwar Wardwing Familiar. It is a one-three flyer that uh, gives my commander ward three. So I have to pay three mana, three extra mana, mana to, to target, target my commanders. Them. Alright, um, you have any flyers? I do not. Me neither. Alright, I'm going to take first blood and, Tom, I'm going to hit you for three, my commander. Three it is, down so to 37. Oh, when he attacks, I can try. First blood. That's how you repay me. <laughs> <laughs> Taking out Lathril, I see. <laughs> I will. See how it's going to be. I was playing against this day before she put that on the bottom. <laughs> she put that on the top. Um, and then with three mana open. I will pass the turn. I still have to get through with her, though. Oh, that's right, she has my That's a 3-2. That's a 3-2. Commander. Right. Yeah. Untap three, my cards. That's a 1-3. Hey, three. got a land. I'm going to lay see, that I land. See. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Not enough for that. 
I don't know, six man on turn four is pretty good. <laughs> that is true. That's very good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play one, two, three for my commander, which is Abomination of Land of War. Shoot, I did, forgot to bring dice to give her power and toughness. Is She's a four, four. So we're going to put a four over here. Vigilance Menace, equal to the number of elves I control and elves in my graveyard. Then you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to ditch these two green cards and play Allosaurus Rider. Oh, removed from the game, sorry. And rather than pay, it's, and this is power and toughness equal to one plus the number of lands I control. It's a 5-5. Five five. Let's make it also that a 5-5. Five five. Alright. And, and you may now go. I will go. Tap. Yeah. Draw. Play snow covered forest. Ooh. It don't, doesn't really do anything other than it's a full art forest. <laughs> right. I don't need any snow for these dragons, but. Appropriate for where we're playing, though. But. Uh, I do need to deal with some stuff here, so I'm going to pay two, uh, three, four, Frontier Bivouac for red. And I'm going to play Savage Twister, dealing two damage to each creature. Two damage to two each creature. Two damage to each creature. Hmm. That's going I'm to kill these off. Pay two. I will avoid just end Siani, returning to my hand. Okay. And I lost my mana, but my one guy is still 5-5, five, five, and this is still okay. I'll put that to the bottom this time. 5-5. Five, five. You've got to put that. Still a 5-5. Five, five. My army just got some. Oh, it wasn't much of an army. I'm going to leave it at that. Pass the turn. All right. Tap. Excuse me. Draw. That's what I was hoping for. I gotta stall you guys so I can get to my dragons before you, you know, get a solid ten elves on the board. Right. Well, you killed that guy. It don't matter. <laughs> That's why I did it. I'm going to tap six and I will play my other commander, Elegath. Crossroads Augur. He is a 5-6 flyer that if I would scry any number of cards, draw that many instead. Oh, dang it. Um, <laughs> That's and, not good. And then, uh, Dashner, you got anything with uh, reach? Reach, no. Right. I'm going to attack you for one. I will take the one. Oh, fast turn. Well, I just have my measly little bit of mana now, thanks to my mana rocks being destroyed. Your regular amount of mana now? <laughs> yeah, one, two, three, four. I'll play Nightshade Harvester. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under an opponent's control, they lose one life, and I put a 1 1 counter on him. Pretty good. This is now six. And Vigilance Menace. Hey, you haven't been hit yet, have you? Nope. All right, six, six, that's you. I'll take six damage. It's Commander. Round thirty-four. We'll see. Oh, I don't want guys to be using for that. Draw for turn. We know what that was gonna be. We'll play a command tower. Well, you and the audience knows, not us. Yeah, you guys. <laughs> I want you to know, but the audience can can check everything out. All right, so I got five here now. Um. Oh, All right, Julia Land. All right, you take your damage, and this guy gets a plus one, plus one counter. Oh, All right, now I guess let's see what we got here. Okay, well, um, yeah. don't get too crazy. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta play it safe. Yeah, you so, are dealing with a blue so I'm gonna player. Play five. <laughs> play Warstorm Surge. Oh, it's Ow. an enchantment that says whenever a creature enters the battlefield under my control, it deals damage equal to its power to target creature or player. That's not good, but luckily I got green. Any responses anywhere? I have. I'm tapped out. Tapped right now. out. So that's why I'm casting it now. <laughs> um, <laughs> And you know what? I ditched one of those cards too to get rid of it. You guys know what that is? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pass the turn. All right, I'm going to untap. Your turn. I will draw. 
Play an island. Losing a life. My guy counter. This guy's kind of cool. I just added him to the deck. Good card. Been nicer on turn four until everybody would have to really hurt themselves. All right. If I take care of his uh, commander, will you leave me alone for a turn? I, I, yeah. I mean, I right. don't plan on well, attacking anyone. Commander is I like, just a I commander. like that idea. <laughs> what All the right. hell are y'all picking on me for? I will play my other commander. Seven, seven. Siani out of my hand again. A six, six menace. Well, um, it's gonna get big. We need those lands. Yeah. You got anything about reach over there? No. I'm gonna hit you for six or for five. With, oh, uh, uh, Elgeth. The first time you hit me, was that with a commander or no? <laughs> no, that wasn't with a commander. Okay. And then you'll scratch. No. And then six. And tell him when he attacks. Oh, well, then yeah. So six, you said? Yep. All right, so I take six and I got six commander. No, five. Sorry, five commander. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to deep freeze your your commander, turning him into a zero four 4 blue wall creature that loses all of their abilities. All right. Well, then I guess still he's has the counters, but it doesn't have counters. He's star star. He's star oh, star. Oh, that's beautiful. Just I a like zero that. four that well, defender. Zero four defender. That's okay. I'll use him as a blocker then. All right, and uh, that's my turn. All right. Let's see what, what can I draw. Oh man. Yeah. Hmm. I wanted mana. Well, I will get myself some mana by playing a Leaf Gilder. Two, one, tap for one green mana. I don't even know why I'm putting counters on him that, but whatever. <laughs> Just in case I can get rid of that somehow. I guess... How big is your guys over there? I have a 3-2 and a 1-3. All right. 5-5 five, five at you. I have a me. Nothing special. Well, I'm not going to give up my Corlesa, so I'll take that. I would give up Corlesa for five good. damage. It's too good. Five's not a good trade. Not at this point Fortunately, in the game. I have to say go. All right. Let's go tap here. Draw. Okay. I'm going to take a peek here. Mm, yeah, that's pretty nice. It's going to change some things here. All right, I'm gonna play a Botanical Sanctum tapped because I do have more than two lands. And take a damage. This guy's now a 5-5 five five also. Oh, is he? Well, he gets a plus one because of whenever that happens. Tapping for red. One, two, three, four. And red on command tower. I'm gonna cast from the top of my library. Terror of the Peaks. Ouch. <clears throat> All right. Terror of the Peaks. Creature, dragon, flying. Ahoy, there be dragons in the sky. Spells your opponents cast that target Terror of the Peaks. Well, they cost an additional three life to cast. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, Terror of the Peaks deals damage equal to that creature's power to any target. Good luck with that one. Terror of the Peaks, when it enters the battlefield, it'll trigger Warstorm Surge, so I can do five damage to any uh, any creature or player, let's do five damage to the creature that's digging us for putting lands into play. All right, so it's a five four flyer spells my opponent's cast that target Terror of the Peaks costs an additional three life. So if they want to target this, they got to pay three life. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under my control, Terror of the Peaks deals damage equal to that creature's power to any target. And I have two war storm surges. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna you're gonna be throwing away, uh, throwing around a lot of damage there. I sure might be. All right, uh, all right, all right. I'm just gonna take a quick look here, and we're gonna pass the turn. All right. I just need some hasty, hasty boy <laughs> right now. Hey, uh, Carlos. It looks like TJ's got a lot of table politics going on down there. What's up with that? Yeah, he certainly does. He is a table talker, mm -hmm. and um, he can usually convince the other players to hang back and not hit him uh, until he gets an advantage. And 
you know, if these players are going to fall for it. Yeah. It you know, might. maybe the, the other two should team up on him. I really, I really think at this point Tyler and Dash should start making an alliance yeah. and whittling away at TJ or he is just going to have way too many flyers out there for anybody to stop. That's true. That's true. Well, we'll see how it plays out. Let's get a word from our players and see how the game is going down there so far. Alright, so we're about seven turns into this game and I thought I was starting to do good with uh, got my... We had a little elf party going. I almost got up to 10 elves to do some real damage with one of my creatures and, well, it got destroyed. And then my mana ramp elves got destroyed. That slowed me down a bit. Then Red decided to drop stuff that's gonna just do direct damage whenever he plays a creature, times two. So right now it's not really looking good for me and Tyler, but I do have a murder up my sleeve. So, I, at least I can stop one of those things from happening when it's my next turn. But other than that, I'm hoping I last at least another couple of turns to play some more stuff. Uh, the biggest threat for my deck right now isn't even on the board. It's what Blue's going to have in his hand for, for what's coming up. Uh, is he going to be able to counter some stuff, bounce some stuff? Um, and then, too, I don't know what kind of kill spells uh, the green-black might have, but... Um, that's kind of what's going to stop me right now. Um, if I can get stuff out, I'm going to throw a lot of damage with those with those two uh, horse storm surge, basically. Best case scenario for me would be to keep what I got on the board on the board, be able to protect it, and somehow find a way to gain some life, which I do have in this deck, and uh, get out of range of a terror of the peaks or a war storm surge. I don't think Maelstrom Wanderer is going to be doing much commander damage, so I'm going to have to make him do a lot of damage to my life total. And in order to do that, I need to start gaining some life. So. so right now, the biggest threat is probably TJ with his red uh, dragon and his enchantment that can do damage whenever he plays another creature spell. So whenever he plays a creature spell, it's going to do direct damage, and the dragon will do the exact same thing, so it's going to double it. So, yeah. Red is the biggest threat right now. So where we're at in the game right now is I started out a little bit slow, but I had the kill spells that I needed to, to keep the elves down. I haven't gotten any mana rocks, which is is not helping me a lot, but because I can cast dragons from the top of my deck, it's, it's kind of keeping me in it. Um, now I have something on the board that can combat the blue flyers, so I'm feeling pretty good. I weathered the early storm with the elves, and I'm ready to kind of throw some throw some hate all right if you're watching the show and you haven't subscribed yet hit that subscribe button hit the notification button uh give us a like leave a comment the best case scenario i can do something about one thing and maybe and maybe i'll draw on my next turn something to deal with the enchantment also or maybe tyler with his blue deck will have some answers coming up here to help us live a little bit longer um right now in the game um, my board's set up pretty nice. I got both commanders out. Um, I'm gonna be able to swing, uh, swing with them this turn. Draw some cards. I got a uh, Alhamrit's archive in my hand, which will double up the card draw. I'm hoping to keep dropping lands, find answers. Um, I gotta find an answer to Terror of the Peaks. I gotta find an answer to Warstorm Shirt, Warstorm Shirt, yeah, Surge. Best case scenario is blue doesn't have anything to counter me, and uh, I can I can cast even if I cast one dragon, or if I if I uh, <clears throat> get a rock and I can cast Maelstrom Wanderer, cascade twice into two big creatures and do double the damage on the ETB. It's gonna be rough for those guys, but that's what I built this deck to do. Tom, I'm gunning for you over Tyler. I know Tyler's got blue. But Tom, I'm coming after you first. I got an answer for one of your things right now. And Tyler, if I can survive long enough, I'm coming after you also. Because if he can start dropping dragons and he casts his commander, cascades twice and hits two big creatures, he's going to throw around a ton of damage. Uh, right now, Dashner is in a position where I'm just going to kind of let him be. Um, I have his commander on lockdown, so it's pretty much just elves at this point. And uh, we'll see where it goes from there. Uh, 
hoping Dashner, Bean, and Green can help me out with the War Storm Surge and uh, do something about that. But I think number one priority on his list is going to be freeing up his commander to do some some damage with it. So, so this message is for all you people that you know maybe you're looking to get into this game. You're thinking you're a little too old, maybe, or you know. Uh, it's too hard to pick up. It's not. You, you, there's ways to learn. Uh, you can you can download Arena just to do the tutorials and teach you how to how to do things. You can watch videos like this. Uh, you know we'll, we'll help uh, teach you guys things that we picked up just by watching. Uh, send us questions. You know ask us questions on the on the chat on the feed. Um, you know send us send us uh, you know little notes at the bottom and say hey what does this do or how does this how does this work and we'll explain it. But. It's never too late to get into it, and I think once you do give it a try, uh, you're going to get hooked, uh, just like me. So Dashner got out to a really quick start. Uh, I think Tom put a quick st stop to that. Probably a good thing on his part. And let's get back to watching this game. And also, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Our 2,000 followers, and I will take my shirt off. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Let's play some more magic. Uh, I think Tyler and uh, Dash are in trouble. Tyler, uh, I hope you don't have the blue cards that are going to stop me from doing what I'm trying to do. Because uh, I want my flying deck to crush your flying deck. And that's it. Tom's got uh, War Storm Surge and uh, the Terror of the Peaks on the battlefield. It's probably not good for either of them, depending on his next card. Dash, I gotta say, I'm sorry I, I derailed you early game, but uh, I'm gonna make it a quick death, I think. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Let's get back to the game. Tyler's sitting okay. I think uh, he might have something to say about uh, Tom trying to do what he's doing before this is all over. Um, I think it's anybody's game at this point, and uh, I can't wait to see how it ends. Let's get back to it, guys. All right, I'm gonna untap. And my commander. Gonna draw. Alright. Um I will tap five. I'm gonna play in Al Hammerit's archive. Uh, it's a legendary artifact. I would gain life, I gain twice that much life instead. I would draw a card except for the first one. Um I draw each except for the first card I draw. In each of my draw steps, I uh, draw two cards instead. Nice. Double draw. Double draw. That's Double pretty draw. nice. Especially in blue, that's kind of scary. That's good. Card advantage. But I want to see what happens. All right. Um, I'm going to go to tax. Uh, what's everyone's life at? You're at 30? 30, 34. 34. 5-4. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's all going to be lower. All right. <laughs> so, Dashner. Coming at you with a 1-3 and a 3-2. Are they both flying? They're both flying. And I'll come at you with a 5-6 flyer. I'm going to take 5 on that it's one. Commander. You'll take 3 more Commander. Uh, when they attack, I'm going to draw. I'm going to try 3, but Elgeth is going to tell me to draw 3. But instead, I'm going to draw 6. Because of Al Hammer, it's archive. Well, that's a problem. <laughs> All right. Who's got some uh, <laughs> artifact removal? I'm going to play uh, my... Uh, uh, what, what was my total here? Sorry. Um, uh, four total. Okay. okay. And three from him. It's a different uh, commander. So. Oh. Not so. You have, should have five from him. Okay. And Sorry. Three from him. All right. And then three. From and him. then you have three from him and five from him as well. Correct. So. Is this being that might up come into camera? play? It might come into play. Are you keeping track of this or? or um, I can if you would like. That would be wonderful. Yeah. I like to put it on the people doing the damage to keep track of that, right? <laughs> I, mean, I got yeah. my dice. Mind right. your triggers, mind your commander damage. That's what I say. <laughs> All right. And then, uh... Well, now I don't really... I will pass the turn. And you have unlimited hand size, don't you? I have no maximum hand size because of Thought Vessel. Which you've had out for a long time. I just noticed it now. I will lay a foily swamp. One flipping play, and I don't know who to do it on. 
Yeah. I would get rid of that Al Almorette's Archive personally because he's going to be getting like six cards every turn. <laughs> Plus, I'm just going to, you know what? Is, is, I'm just going to pass my turn. Pass the turn, okay. You're going to make me do it. You're going to make me do something. That's okay. Oh, it has Defender. Oh, darn it, I was hoping to attack with a 0-4 to get rid of it. Nope, it has Defender. <laughs> <laughs> he was wide open, though, for your uh, six, 6 Oh, I didn't even notice that. Damn it. Yeah. Uh, misplay, <laughs> misplay. You missed your trigger on that. Okay. Uh, He's about to do a ton of damage, so... Yeah, he is. I might try. You yeah. might try. Well, you got three blue open, <laughs> so that's not, uh, that's not nothing. <laughs> it is and you have a high full of cards. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, and I have, what do I have right now? Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six. So, I'm going to do something. Hmm. Here comes the punishment. Not yet, not yet, not yet. <laughs> Well, I'm going to tap this for one green, floating, bounce it to my hand, and play Simic Growth Chamber. Okay. Okay. So I got one green floating. I need red, red. So that's these two. Two red. So one green floating. Um, three. So that's four. Five. And I'm going to play Sarkin the Masterless. What does he do? Sarkin the Masterless is a legendary planeswalker and whenever a creature attacks me or a planeswalker I control each dragon I control deals one damage to that creature he comes in with five uh, loyalty counters he can plus one until end of turn each planeswalker I control becomes a 4-4 red dragon creature and gains flying or I can minus three to create a red dragon creature token with flying alright I don't know if I can allow that to, to happen Alright, so is it on the stack? It's on the stack. It's on the stack. It's on the stack. So the question is, do you want to counter this, or do you want to wait for something else? That's the question. That's bigger. Or do you want to wait to counter Maelstrom Wander? Well, the fact that if I attack you, I'm gonna, you're going to do five damage, that's the part in it that's kind of... Uh, it deals one damage oh, each to each creature, creature for the dragon. So alright, oh. I have two. Okay. So if you attack, you wouldn't want to attack me with something two defense because yeah. it would die. Yeah. Two damage if I attack you. All right. Yeah. I'll let it go. All right. You're gonna let it go. I'll let it go for. Okay. He's gonna let it go. I'll let it go. All right. That's some politicking at its finest. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Let's see so. here. Oh, we know what I have here. That's not. I don't love that. All right. Let me get a. die here. Now, <clears throat> he's got five. I am actually going to go down t to two, and I'm going to create a 4-4 four, four red dragon creature token with I, flying. I do have a response to that. Okay. I'm going to re-sculpt your Terror of the Peaks. I will take three damage for doing so, but I'm going to exile him, and you will get a... Four four green red elemental. Okay. It's gonna have similar and similar I just, impact. I just have okay, so this is exiled from the game. Yes. Yep. Okay, so this is going to be an ETB. Yep. And then I'm gonna have an ETB from this dragon. Yep. Which is a four four also. Yep. Dragon. Flying. Flying. He's got flying, yeah, he does. All right, so there's going to be two ETBs. Um, you did get rid of my Terror of the Peaks. You did take three life, so I'm okay with that. Uh, so I'm going to have four damage for this elemental coming in. I'm going to have four damage for this dragon coming in. Now, what can I kill? Um... <laughs> you want me to kill your commander so I can help you, but I don't know that I want to do that. Well, um, I'm, dang, he does cost six now, or five, so <laughs> that's all my mana. I, I, uh, hmm. 
You get a pain. And your life total is what? No, it's only when he casts the spells. Oh, okay. Um, I'm at 30. You're at 30. I'm at 30. You're at 30. I'm at 25. Um, I'm going to do all eight to Elgeth. Mm, all right. I'll take nice. that off the board. Now, hopefully, we can get rid of all Almeret's archive. Yeah, he's going to get a lot well, more. Unfortunately, fortunate. to get my Allosaurus out, <clears throat> one of the things I removed from the game <laughs> was it. Oh, no, an naturalize. That's a bummer. I got more in the deck, but yeah. Okay. That is my turn, and I will pass. All right. I'm going to untap. But now he has to scry. He doesn't draw. Yep, I don't draw. I scry. Which, so that's good. That's why I gave all eight damage to that guy. All right. It would have been nice to just do eight, li eight life to somebody's face, you know? Eight to the face is, is a little rough, but yeah, right. that's okay. Seems like a way better use for it. Yeah. All right. I'm going to play uh, <laughs> Zalfrin Void. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, I will scry one. All right. And, and you get to draw it? Oh, no. Scry. You're right. <laughs> Sorry. What are you uh, doing over there? I'm gonna tap eight. I'm gonna recast Alieth. Well, we're gonna have to kill it again. Mm. You have two dragons over there. I have two dragons. And how big is he? He's a five, can, he, can he be targeted? He doesn't have his. If you cast a spell, um, it costs three, three more. To target him. Three more to target him? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If only for spells. All right, okay. um, Dashner, I'm gonna attack you for four. Oh yeah, he's got something sickness. Yep. Um, but I will draw four cards. And I can't block, unfortunately. <laughs> and which one is that? Is that this one or this one? Uh, it's I, I did this three. one for that the one. Three. And that one for three. Because you no, you originally hit me with that one, right? I originally hit you with this one. Okay. Okay. So, so three. three so you yeah. should be at six, six for that. I'm taking four. All right. Yeah, uh, that's my turn. I will say go. I'm gonna draw my card. I hate to do this, but I'm going to. That's just creatures you have to pay extra for, right? Or anything. Uh, any spell you cast that targets one of my commanders costs oh. three extra. Oh, but I'm just going to destroy your target artifact. Bam! Um. I will discard an island and a Mystic Remora, and I will foil that to counter it. Well, then you also don't gain four life. Well, that's a bummer. I appreciate the effort on that. Oh, that was a tough. I like I like that move though. And now I don't have enough mana to do the other thing I wanted to do. It's okay, my shit's gonna but die you got, from his you, war storm you, surge you, you sooner or later. You got a big thing that can swing, though. Yeah, so I'm gonna attack with my six six. Six damage. I can't block it. Going down to twenty four. All right, and then I'm done. <laughs> All right. Unfortunately, I did. Boys. Here we I, go. Yeah, I should have tried. I should have got. I totally, I totally okay. forgot about the mass one to tell you the truth. I. I was more focused on you drawing eight cards a fucking turn. I'm trying to draw fucking answers turn. to what he's got going on, is all I'm trying to do. I know, right. I totally well, forgot. you know what I got now, right? Yep. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How much damage are you taking? That's what we're gonna do, we're gonna find out. Yeah, eight dude. mana to cast. Wander. Maelstrom Wanderer. Here we go. Okay, so. Oh, it's time to walk the plank. Maelstrom Wanderer, legendary elemental. Creatures you control have haste. Cascade, cascade. By the way, when you cast this spell, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non-land card that costs less. You may cast it without paying its mana cost. Just put the exile cards on the bottom in a random order. Then you do it again. I'm gonna cascade twice. That's gonna go first here. So, okay, Niv, miss it. Is the first one. Ha ha ha. Bring out the dragon wizard. Niv Mizzet. 
Legendary Dragon Wizard. Flying. Whenever you draw a card, Niv Mizzet deals one damage. Go get him. And what? then. No. Uh. Yeah. Perforous Bronze Blooded. Okay. Bring out the god. Perforous Bronze Blooded. Legendary enchantment creature, God. It's indestructible. As long as your devotion to red is less than five, Herphorus isn't a creature. Other creatures you control have haze too, by the way. You may put a red creature card or an artifact creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. Sacrifice it at the beginning of the next end step after you pay two. So it's gonna be a lot of damage. So you're gonna take we got seven here, four here, seven here, because he is a creature. Um, <clears throat> when he enters, he is a creature. He mm -hmm. is a creature. I have enough pips. Um, so that's eighteen. What are your life totals at? I'm at twenty-four. Twenty-six. All right. I'm gonna do seven here. Okay. I'm gonna do. I'm going to with 11. Yeah, I'm going to do... Let's see, how much do you... You have 24 and you have... I have 26. 26? All right, I'm going to do... 7 to your face. Do 40 to your face. Down to 20. Okay. Down to 19. So I'm going to go up. And turn him into a 4-4 dragon creature with flying. Now, that doesn't trigger this because he's already on the battlefield. Yep. But can I kill you both? That's the question. And everything's got haste. Everything has haste. I'm at 19 and no blockers. At 20. And no blockers. Okay. So you need to do a total of 39 damage. I don't know, Dash, you got two blockers. That they're flying. Aren't so Maelstrom flying? Wander is coming at you. Maelstrom Wander doesn't fly. Oh, okay. That's right. Perforos is coming at you. All right. So that's 14. Um, and you have how much? 19. You have to do 39 total to kill us both. 4, 8, 12, 16. So 14. How much more do I need to knock you out? Uh, 6. Elemental's coming at you. Uh, Niv Miz is coming at you. Alright, enough to kill me. And then I'm gonna hit you in the air for another four, for four each, so eight in the okay. air. Good turn. Yeah, I'm leaving me at 11. I'm leaving you at 11. But I have one attacker. And I have one blocker. Um, does this go by but No, it does not. Does it? Uh, yeah, he's gone. I'm gone. Okay, so I get my commander back then, basically. So now I got two attackers. Uh, um, yeah, past turn. It's yours. Right. What do you got? What do you got for life? 25. 25. I'm gonna pay a black man to cycle that. That doesn't flip and help me. I wanted to kill both of you guys, but I, I just didn't have enough. You're at 25? He's, he's dead next turn anyway. 25, so. yeah. I have 6, I have 13, I only have 15. And I got a blocker. Well, I can take care of the blocker with murder. Okay. Corlesa is finally gone. Did some things though. And then, yeah, I guess I'll swing out before I die. That's a blocker, isn't it? Right. Oh, it's gone now. So yeah. how much? 15? Uh, That's right. Six, seven. From the game. What am I doing? Six? Seven. Yeah, it's 13, right? Okay. Yeah, 15. 15. Your aberration is at vigilance. Oh, yeah. This is vigilance. I'm at 10. Oh, yeah. All right. And you may go. All right. I want this back in here really quick. Or do you leave these out? She's going to tap. Attack with all your flyers and kill them? Uh, I don't even need to do that, man. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna 
We're gonna play this. Well, you're gonna draw a card, and if Miz gets gonna deal the damage. Yeah. One damage from Miz it. Down ten. Ten you now. Tap. Yeah. Seven. Uh, and I'm gonna play Dracoseth Maw Flames. Uh, which does damage when it comes into play too, doesn't does it? Does seven damage to you. And then uh, I also take another seven. Well, that is the seven. That okay. is the seven. Okay, so I'm down to three. Okay, so I'm gonna tick this up, make this a dragon, fine. Um, and then I'm going to swing, yeah, seven, four, four in the air, Maelstrom Wanderer. Yeah, why not? Four in the air. All right. And we'll swing the elemental just for kicks. And then how big is your commander again? He's a 7-5. You know what? If I'm going to die anyways, I'm going to block with my 7-7. Seven, seven. Okay. To do the kill something at the end well, of the turn. There you go. Yeah. You're, you're dead before well, blocks, though, aren't you? blocks. Because... Actually, he well, does. He attacks with everything, but on attacks. Like, does more damage to you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Then it doesn't matter. So you don't. All right. Whatever. Yeah. 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 You're actually dead before you can hit the... 14, uh, 21, 25, 29, 33, 37, plus I throw four to his face. <laughs> My reach guy finally came Three up. damage That's to two other targets. Yeah. Boom, I win. Uh, I didn't even get to cast my Ugin. Uh, that would have been uh, icing on the cake, I guess. You didn't know, need I to. <laughs> didn't need to. Dragon deck did what it was supposed to do. Okay. Throw a lot of fire. Okay, guys. The winner of each casual commander battle will get to draw a colored orb from the winner's chest. Each colored orb represents one Magic the Gathering set booster pack. If a player retreats the Tangelo colored orb, that player may pick any two set boosters of their choosing. Well, it looks like TJ won. Yeah, he sure did. Gosh, Tyler and Dash just didn't team up fast enough to take care of that guy. And that's okay, they both yeah. fell for his table talking politics. It was... It he's was, one to watch out for. It was an art, and he's he's proven to be quite a threat in the MTG Casual Commander Tournament. Ooh, and we also have to see the Casual Commander chest. <laughs> the casual chest. I gotta say, boys, the wind feels good. Uh, first time playing. Uh, Dragon deck did what it was supposed to. I feel like you helped me out when I needed it with that uh, archive destruction. Uh, yeah, because I wasted one of my archive alone. I was only looking for answers to I was only man, looking for cards. answers for what you were doing. Hey, well, I technically forgot about the mail slow. <laughs> the, the war storm surge did it for me, storm. but yeah. uh, that was a problem. You had to pick your poison. One of us was gonna win. Yeah. You destroy one, the other guy wins. I mean, you would have yeah, had. We did quite a number. You would have had another twelve cards. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, we. I didn't have enough cards to pick on everybody. When we we, everybody was we shut you down me. pretty early, Dasher. I feel bad picking on you a little bit, but uh, yeah, you I don't. think. Well, I'm not. Doing it. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I feel pretty good about winning. <laughs> Uh, out of the frame. Whoa. Whoa. Well, well I, I opened this one already. Right. It's open. Yeah, just gotta so, crack don't it. Don't look. Don't look. Don't so, look. Reach your hand. Look. Reach your hand. Grab a ball. They're on the other end. What am I trying to get out of here? What's the What's the hot ticket? Angelo. Angelo ball. I don't know what that. I got blue. We got the blue ball. What is that? I don't so, want blue balls. All right. Let's do a creepy slow roll. Call to high. Nice job, TJ. Let's get down to the table and find out what TJ won. Yeah. I'm ready to see what this pack contains. All right, guys, you want to see what's in here? Uh, yeah, I got, I got a little red win. I can't wait. It's a set Kaldheim booster. set booster. Big win for red. This is, you know, spoil part of the spoils. Um, I got a, I got a little, you know, tap, tap ritual. Uh, I'm hoping Klex. What do you think? We get a Klex in here? Maybe. That'd be nice. Yeah, that'd be fun to see. Spicy. Maybe. Maybe. Spicy. What's the art right, card? The art card is. is. What am I even looking at here? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what this is. Says, look at the back. It looks like bottles. Snow covered planes. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. That's a. I don't know that I've seen that one. <laughs> I we got a swamp, frost peak yeti, shimmer drift veil. I mean, these are good for snow decks, you know. Yeah. So. Mistwalker. Look at all them blue cards. Blue. Too bad the blue cards. Uh, you didn't wear. This would have been good for you. 
Oh man, Raven Form. Raven, Raven Form's Forms. a good sorcery. Yep. Vega the Watch. This is all you, dude. Colvori, God of Kinship. Uh, Certland Flinger. Uh, Foil Grizzled Outrider. Well, that was so, a double rare. Pack. Two rares. That's not, not bad. bad. Colvori's good. She, she flips over to the Ring Hard Crest. Ring Hard Crest is really good. Um, mana ramp for, for a creature. That's a creature, good uh, you know, creature decks like dragons. Oh, yeah. Right? Spells of the Chosen type. So I actually have this in my God Tribal. So she's good. Nice. Cool. Well, oh, good pack. Is she all not great? She's good. Not oh, awesome. She's all green. Oh, I can actually. This would go in your elf deck. Yeah. You know what? You want this? No. I probably actually have that. Actually. Well, if you have it, you can. You can I'll trade you. <laughs> I'll trade you for a high five. <laughs> I'm just ready for the next one. This was a great game. Looking forward to doing it again. Uh, good job to my opponents. That was a, a really solid game. A lot of fun. Uh, yeah. Cardboard crack right here. Uh, you'll never have money for drugs, right? Spend it on this. All right? That's what we That's do. Right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. And with that, let's take a look at our scoreboard and see how the players ended up with that. Let's take a look at the scoreboard and declare some victors. The Destroyer. This title is given to the player with the most permanent removal. Through combat damage, destroy and exile spells and abilities. TJ is taking the Destroyer title after round one. Red Team is absolutely dominating this title. Quick Draw. This title is awarded to the player that draws the most cards over the casual commander season. And Johnny Boy is going to be keeping our quick draw title after this game. The Masochist is the person who pays the most of their life during the casual commander season. With the most life paid, Butters is holding on to that Masochist title. Berserker. This title is awarded to the player with the most commander damage throughout the casual commander season. It looks like the Berserker title is going to be held onto by Little T Rex Arms, Alex. Title unlocked. The modifier title. The modifier title goes to the player that modifies the most permanents with counters, auras, or equipment. And Kitty is keeping that modifier title. Land Lover. The Land Lover title will be bestowed upon the player that has the most land drops in the season. Kitty will also be holding on to the Land Lover title. The Architect. This title is rewarded to the player that creates the most non-creature, non-land permanents within the season. The Architect title is going to be held onto by Peanut. The Horde Racer. The Casual Commander Horde Racer title goes to the player that has the most creatures and creature tokens played throughout the season. Butters will be keeping this title.
The Witch Doctor. The Witch Doctor title will be awarded to the player who gains the most life during the Casual Commander season. And Johnny Boy with the most life gained, he will be keeping the Witch Doctor title. And there's Benny J. The Beat Sack. The title of Beat Sack will be given to the player that receives the most damage within the Casual Commander season. Nobody takes a beating quite like Kitty. She'll be holding on to that Beat Sack Award. The Mad Maid. This title and award will be enchanted onto the player that does the most damage over the Casual Commander season. And it looks like our Mad Mage is going to continue to be Zoltan Wallace. Casual Commander title unlocked. The Mill Master. This title will be handed to the player that mills the most cards and or makes other players discard the most cards in this season. Zoltan also holding on to the Millmaster Award. Spell Slinger. The Spell Slinger title will be attached to the player that casts the most instant and sorcery spells within the Casual Commander season. And one more time, let's hear it for Zoltan. He's also taking home the Spell Slinger title at this point. The Cutthroat. The Cutthroat is the player who sacrifices the most of their own creatures throughout the season. And Gus has the Cutthroat title with the most permanent sacrificed. The Playa Killer. Kill the most players to win this title. We've got a lot of ties in our play a kill a title, but after this game, Zoltan Wallace is still in that number one spot. this the nuker the person with the most board wipes or universal destruction spells congratulations you're the nuker the nuker title will be staying safe in butter's hands finally lieutenant the player that wins the most rare and mythic cards during the season will be awarded the Lieutenant title. The only person to pull three rares and or mythics, Zoltan Wallace. Tune in next time to discover new players, updated scoreboards, and new title holders. All right, well, that was fun. Time to clean up the blood and the guts and all of the other tears and crying. Thank you for watching MTG Casual Commander, the most immersive Magic the Gathering show on the planet.
if you don't want to be a heartless, cruel, mischievous, and the seven seas kind of person, make sure you comment down below. Tell us what we're doing in a scurvy way. And as always, MTG Casual Commander urges you to support your local game stores, our local game store of the game, Don Fathers. And for the love of everything magic, hit like, subscribe, comment down below, and don't forget about the notification bells so you don't miss a thing on MTG Casual Commander. Let the magic continue. <laughs> That's all we have on this episode of MTG Casual Commander. Have a great night. Arr. Imagine you're just talking to the ladies now. <laughs> no. <laughs> How about, hey ladies, who wants a mustache rat? <laughs> I'm not going to say that, you nuts.